Hi friends! Look it, I have a book to read today. It's called The Caterpillar and the Pollywog, and it's written by Jack Keats. And the publisher is Aladdin Paperbacks. This book is about things that change. It's called um, Metamorphosis. Can you say Metamorphosis? Let's clap it. Metamorphosis. Let's snap it. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is a word that means something that starts out one way, but changes into something else. That's what happens in this book. Can you think of anything that changes, starts one way, and changes into something else? Hmm. The Caterpillar and the Pollywog by Jack Keats. Caterpillars aren't like other folks. As ducks and hippopotamuses and you and I grow, we get bigger, especially hippopotamuses, um, but not caterpillars. <gasps> they turn into butterflies. Turning into something else like that is not a thing that just anybody can do. Down by the pond, there lived a caterpillar who was very proud of being different. She bragged about it to all of her friends. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the snail. Well, that's nice, said the snail, who really didn't care one way or the other. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told Turtle. I don't blame you, said Turtle. He didn't much like wiggly things. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the Pollywog. What fun, said the Pollywog. What are you going to turn into? But the caterpillar hurried on her way, looking for someone else to tell her secret to. Oh, I wish I could turn into something else when I grow up, said the pollywog. You will, said the fish. All pollywogs do. <gasps> what am I going to turn into, the pollywog asked. But the fish saw a tasty little bug and he dashed after it instead. Hmm, all pollywogs change into something else? <gasps> when I grow up, said the caterpillar who had circled the pond for a second time. When I grow up, she told the pollywog again, I'm going to turn into something else. <gasps> so am I, said the pollywog. You? The caterpillar was so surprised she almost fell into the pond. The fish said so, said the pollywog. Fish know things, they go to school. Well, the caterpillar was upset. I thought only caterpillars could do it, she said rather sadly. Oh, well, what are we going to turn into? The pollywog asked. Well, I'm going to turn into a butterfly, said the caterpillar. Then I guess I will too, said the pollywog. What fun! Let's do it together! Well, all right, the caterpillar agreed, although she would rather have done it all by herself. But I get to go first. The pollywog didn't mind. He wasn't at all sure how it was done. I'll watch you, said the pollywog. So when the time came, the caterpillar started to spin a cocoon. Sometimes it's called a cocoon or a chrysalis. This is the tricky part she said. The pollywog watched as the caterpillar spun. Soon, only her head was uncovered. Now I have to close the lid, she said. When I come out, I'll be a butterfly. Oh, go ahead, the pollywog said excitedly. I want to see you do it. Well, it will take a while, the caterpillar warned. She started spinning again and was soon out of sight in the cocoon. There she is, she's all gone. Well, 
For a long time, nothing happened, but the pollywog was patient. He watched and watched and watched. For days and days and watched for days. Soon, there was activity in the cocoon. The end opened and very slowly, the caterpillar climbed out. Only she wasn't a caterpillar anymore. She was a beautiful butterfly. Look at that yellow butterfly. Oh, the polywog was so excited, he hopped up and down with delight. He ho hopped up and down like a frog. Oh my gosh, when did that happen? I was so busy watching you, he said. I didn't notice what was happening to me. What happened to him? Oh my goodness, he's not a polywog anymore. <gasps> You're a very handsome frog, said the butterfly, and she flew off to try her new wings. But the frog was puzzled. I thought I was gonna be a butterfly, he said. Oh, he's disappointed. He doesn't understand what happened. He thought he was going to change into a butterfly. Hmm. But pollywogs don't change into butterflies, do they? Caterpillars do. A caterpillar wriggled by. When I grow up, he said proudly to the frog, I'm going to turn into something else. But the frog wasn't listening. Does he look sad anymore? Mm, you think he likes being a frog? He was admiring his reflection in the water. I am, you know, a very handsome frog. The end. He was disappointed a little bit. I think he got very used to it, and he liked it very much. Did you like that book? I give it a thumbs up, a double thumbs up. That's one of my favorite books. It shows metamorphosis, how it happens. Caterpillars start out as egg, and then a caterpillar, and then a butterfly. And polywogs start out in eggs in the water, then they become polywogs, which are like fish. And then they turn into frogs. Oh, it's amazing. That process is so amazing. That was the book, The Caterpillar and the Polywog. I have a song called The Fuzzy Caterpillar. I have a leaf because caterpillars like to eat green leaves. So I make a leaf out of one hand and a caterpillar out of the other and I sing. The fuzzy caterpillar curled up upon a leaf, spun a little chrysalis, and then fell fast asleep. And while she was sleeping, she dreamed that she could fly. And later when she woke up, she was a butterfly. I like that song, and I love you guys. Have a great week. Miss you.